Yes, welcome back to Watia Valley, everybody, and we have got a heck of a lot to do. It's looking a bit grey out there, but we're going to start by harvesting our canola field right here. And we've got three fields, well actually two because number four is sort of split into two. So we've got two fields of canola. Uh, we've got not much canola, in fact I don't think we have any canola left in our silo, so we're looking to get as much as we can and then hope the price increases so we'll get this harvester underway and we'll come back soon because there's something I want to do on the other side of the farm okay here we are guys this is our muck spreader and our or our you know liquid manure spreader and what I want to do is I want to go up here into our cow farm and there goes our cows over there obviously you remember from last episode that we bought some cows and we're finally a dairy farm but I want to find where the liquid silage is stored uh, which will be helpful for fertilizing in the future and maybe selling if this biogas plant does it but there doesn't seem to be a trigger there that obviously is probably the milk tank but there's no trigger there so we'll back it in here maybe this one here uh, nope. Hmm. Well, there's definitely liquid manure. Hmm, I'll have to come back. I'll go and find it. I'll have a look down here first, though. Um, well, that's a water trough, but you never know. No, nothing in there. Hmm. I have absolutely, absolutely, I should say, no idea where the liquid manure is. Manure is. Man, spit it out got to find it out okay so we're fast forwarded a bit here and here goes the first load out of field number four for canola I'll jump back in the truck uh, what I would say actually is that that's the entire field and we got 45,000 liters out of it so a decent amount of canola for sure and obviously uh, we do need canola so it's uh, very handy to get a decent amount and I'm going to go ahead and sow these other fields here too. I'm just going to have a think about what I'm going to throw in there. Probably barley because we don't have much of it at all. I think that's what I'll throw in those two. Either that or soybeans, I'm not too sure at this point. Man, it's definitely a grey looking day. Obviously we had that really rainy day the other day that sort of scuppered our plans. But let's hope this holds off. It is. It's saying that it's just a cloudy day with, with a bit of sun. So hopefully it won't rain. Oh, hold on, my tyres are spinning here, team. Hmm. Hold on. What am I doing? Reverse it back, can I? Okay. Well, this is awesome driving by me. I have stuck. I have stuck it on top of. And hold on, does that work? No. Nope. I've stuck. I've stuck the trailer on top of the uh, the dumper here, the silo. So I'm going to do a bit of backyard uh, maintenance here and just push this up slowly. The insurance company would not be happy watching that, considering I don't think I've got ball bars on the front of this truck. So hopefully everyone just closed their eyes while I uh, did that. So we'll just back this up into here. And hopefully that will be in a position I uh, have it lined it up. I need to practice my back, and I'm terrible at it. I tell you, I have got to be the worst backer in the history of this game. Anyway, hopefully if we get right in under the... Yep, there we go. We got the prompt. And can we... Yes, our wheels are on. Excellent. Let's get rid of that canola and continue on with the other work we've got to do. Right. I messaged Smith97, who developed this map, and asked him, where do I get liquid manure from? Now, it was actually fairly obvious in the end. Well, not obvious, but here it is here. We've got two big, what we would call in New Zealand, shit ponds. Oh, that gate's closed. I better jump out and grab that. Um, so two big holes in the ground here with our liquid manure in it and it's just over um, on the back of the farm here so I didn't even go and explore hard enough really did I but there you go let's just fill up the slurry tank here tank it. there's not going to be much in here at all but at least we know where to find it now and so in the future we've got an access to some either some fertilizers to spread or like I said perhaps we might even be able to sell it if there is a selling point here on the map so great to know where that is Right, we're in the shop, and what we're going to look to do here is I want to get rid of the rest of the silage up there, 
in the biogas plant. So I've downloaded this mod which actually has 5,000 litre capacity. So let's buy that and I can use my tractor with the front loading arm to do that. Because I, I don't want to um, lease a, um, you know, the bigger front loader this time. It will cost me $11,000 to do so I, and I've got time up my sleeve so I'll do it myself. This is, I mean obviously the front loader with the massive bucket will take shorter time but this is more cost effective. And here we are ripping up the driveway at the silage plant and I actually think that that silage on the left there, I'm pretty sure that's ready. But um, as you can see in here and I think you'll probably remember from last time those who've been watching that we have um, just a touch left here but enough what have we got 84,000 so there's probably 40 odd thousand dollars worth in here so it's definitely worth uh, getting rid of this so I'm gonna look to empty this entire silo out um, which gives us a nice little um, injection of cash even though we've got 84 grand at the moment but it's gonna give us a chance to uh, do plenty of things and all oh, this is wobbly as hell oh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> It's the second time this tractor has tipped over, but this time it's forward. <laughs> oh, what a shocker. Okay, clearly this big bucket is too heavy on the front. I'm, you know, I'm probably going to have to clip a weight on the back of it. I should have thought about that. What an absolute shocker. And look, it's even unbalanced just sitting there. Okay. I'm not going to go and get a weight yet. I will go and get one in the future, but here goes the slurry tanker and I'm going to use that as a little bit of a weight we'll just edge our way in here just got caught up on the side of the silo there but let's just edge it up and there we go we have got a full bucket and let's just move ourselves around and let's just hope with this additional weight on the back and it's not full by any means but it's obviously a big hunk of steel with a little bit of slurry in it Hopefully, it's already feeling like it's uh, definitely a lot more stable. Let's see as we rip around this corner. Yeah, it's definitely holding us up. So this will do in the meantime. It's not the long-term solution, but at least it will work as we uh, fire that in there. Nice. Okay. Backyard fix, but it does the job. All right. This is the last bit of silage, finally. It's taken quite a number of buckets to get to this point, but we are up to 122,000, so definitely worth it. Extra money in the bank. Right, we're on the second part of field number four, which is almost like a field itself. And you're riding shotgun here in the harvester, or the combine harvester, as it's more correctly known as we just uh, run over the last part of this canola on this field we can then um, dump this into our trailer and that will be two fields down and the big one field number five over in the background there that will be the last one to do so let's jump that pipe out here it comes I should turn off the harvester might help I have okay now let's run over we need some exercise, we'll be spending far too much time in our tractor and our truck seats. So let's jump across here, or run across here. I'm out of breath, just watching it. And so far off this field, as you can see, we've got 25,000 litres of, um, of canola. Not quite as much as the other one, but this field is definitely a lot smaller. So basic, basic mathematics will determine that would be the case. Okay, here we go. So we'll fill up the rest of this trailer. And then I'll go and dump this now because I just want to get a feel for how much each field produces. So while I've got nothing to do, I'll, um, I'll start this harvester as we get over to it. And now, and once that's finished, here it is. What we'll do is we'll jump across to field number five and we'll get this guy going. I'll throw a worker behind the wheel and then we can go and dump off our canola into the into the silo pit up the hill there so this guy he's away oh, I've got some nice pace up here probably not the best thing to do on a farm but hey give it a whirl all right let's get over this I'm not gonna get stuck yes <laughs> uh, so about to, about 28,000 litres of canola from that uh, second part of field number four so yeah yeah once again 
definitely helpful and now our stocks of canola are definitely getting right up there so let's hope there's going to be a great demand soon okay back into the harvester just completing this headland at, across the top of uh, field number five got to get that done Give, gives the uh, worker plenty of room to turn around um, and that's what I'll be doing I'll be using a worker while I go and work on other things throughout the farm it's a beautiful night here down at Watia Valley as the worker is uh, looks like doing her job by the looks of it we're an equal employment opportunity farm here and look at that definitely needs a wash sooner rather than later but in the meantime a lot of work to do definitely a cool machine but one I'd like to upgrade yeah, at some point because it is quite uh, the width isn't that big what a shot beautiful and as we head towards the sunset we're just finishing off the last part of this canola and it's been a bit of a mission this field only because it's quite a large field but hey looking good Man, I can't get over some of these uh, sunsets here. This is what you get in New Zealand, everybody. If you haven't been, you've got to jump on a plane or a boat if you've got a bit of time up your hands and get over here. This is what it's like every day. Honest. But hey, guys, this is the last part of field number five, and it is done and dusted. Let's get the auger out. And let's go and grab our truck. Go, go boy, go, go, go. Shouldn't be driving at 50 k's an hour around this field, but hey, you know what? Time is the essence. Is of the essence. And uh, we got a full trailer load out of this already of 47,000 litres, and add this on, so we're looking at about, sort of, we're going to be pushing 60,000, sorry, 70,000 litres out of field number five, which is uh, pretty massive, to be fair. To be fair. So what I'm going to do, I'll just go and drop off as much of this as I can, but I think I'm going to run out of room in my silo. Okay, it's nearly midnight. I want to see how much money we get for our milk. There it is, milk sale, 5,986. Because, and there goes our running costs, and a quick calculation says just under $2,000 um, in the negatives. So here we are back in our cow farm, and as we, you know, as I said before, we're two thousand in, um, we're about two thousand dollars in the negatives. What I meant by that is that um, our maintenance costs of our vehicles and our animals are costing us two thousand more than the milk that our cows are producing. So here goes twenty cows. We're getting a decent amount of cows now, so let's buy those, and that will definitely help offset some of those costs. So more cows meaning more food and water as you can see they've gone down into the yellow after buying those so let's uh hook up our water and sort that out for a start okay all that swish backing nice that's one thing i'm gonna have to really be careful of is that you know as i increase my cows they're gonna take a lot more water silage hay all that sort of stuff so i've got to monitor that and make sure that we uh, stay on top of it Okay, that's filled for six days, and yep, all topped up. Nice. Okay, guys, we are now going to do some more mixed ration, or power food as it's called in this version. I'm just going to see if I can put this. I do not look like a skilled handler of this machine. Let's get that straw in there. So this is one of two hay bales. Nice. One more. Okay, just so this up. Right, smash the front. That's good. There goes two. Now onto the silage. It's a bit unbalanced because I haven't got the weight on the back. I forgot this bucket is quite uh, heavy. So I'll just take it easy. Nice, there we go. That should be enough. In fact, I don't know if I'll get this whole bucket in there. I can't. Okay, we're just going to tip that out. All right. And as you can see, we've got a nice balanced mix ration right there, or a, uh, what I call it, power food it's called now. So let's go and give it to the cows. Oh, look at 
this. This is some skill backing right here. Take a photo. It doesn't happen very often. Back a right I'm against there. Oh, we're not getting the unload prompt. I need the prompt. I need to move back a bit, I think. There we go. Beautiful. Unload. Get in there, boy. All right. Okay. Now, judging by the figures that I saw before, I'm probably going to have to do another load. But I'll go and do that off screen. I'm almost ready to wrap up this episode, I think. Let's just pour this uh, stuff out. Now, let's take a quick look. Move across and. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, we do need some more straw, grass, silage, hay, and power food. So, guys, I'll go and do that off screen. I want to say a massive thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode soon. And until next time, take it easy.